What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Nintendo Direct for June 2024 that just went down. I would have uh, live streamed it, but I had a work meeting, unfortunately. And anytime I get a chance to live stream anything or make a video on anything, I definitely take advantage of it. Uh, because over the last couple of months, there hasn't been a lot of news that has provoked me to actually make a video and talk about it. I just don't feel like a lot of the news has been worthy to boot up a camera for us, unfortunately. But since Nintendo had this direct, I'm going to talk about it. I'm mainly going to talk about the games that I care about. I'm going to skim over a lot of those games that I don't care about, which, uh, which is a significant amount. And it, because it's kind of funny, I'm, am I... I'm not sure if I'm qualified to call myself a Nintendo fan. Only not only because like I buy I buy like I would say a significant amount of Nintendo games per year. It's like depending on the year, it's like at least 3. Um but I don't care about a lot of those Nintendo those main uh Nintendo uh tentpole games, I guess. Some of them I do, but the biggest ones like a Zelda, I don't care about a Zelda. Um, a 3D Mario, don't care about that. Metroid, which we're going to speak to, I've never really cared about that. But a Donkey Kong, that's, to me, that's the GOAT platformer. A Splatoon, oh, that, that's my shit. Uh, Mario RPG, that's, that's my shit. I bought that. Even that Kirby game, I thought was really good. So there, there's, so, some of the main Nintendo IPs and franchise I care about. But some of the other ones, the, the most popular ones, I kind of don't. It's it's kind of similar. I'm kind of sim it's kind of similar to how I feel about Bethesda, right? Their biggest games I don't give a fuck about. Like I don't care about a Skyrim, uh, a Fallout, a, a a a Starfield. I don't care about none of that shit. But a Wolfenstein, a Dishonored, an Evil Within. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> nigga, that's my shit, right? So it's like I care about some of their um. Some of their main stuff, but some of the their 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 less I guess their less popular stuff. Um, I put mad time in Advance Wars when that came out. Jesus Christ, uh, I'm pretty sure I have like 150 hours in that shit. Um, let's talk about the Nintendo Direct though. Let's get into that. Um, all right, they started out with Mario and Luigi Brothership. Um, this is a day one for me. I I saw everything I needed to see. Um, it's it's got a little platforming and also some uh, RPG in there, a mix, a mix of that. So, yeah, I'm like, yeah, this is this is all I I needed to see. I didn't need to see much. That's a day one for me. Um, I look forward to that. That's coming out November 7th. Uh, Nintendo World Championships. Yeah, don't care. Fairy Tale 2. Nope, don't care. Then they, they always got these like obs obscure anime art style, you know, obviously Japanese style games that I personally don't be giving a fuck about these obscure RPGs or whatever the hell this is. And they've stayed true to themselves as, as, as a Japanese company. Um, I personally just don't care about a lot of this shit. Like Fantasian, Neo, Dimension, some classic looking RPG. Yeah, don't care. Nintendo Switch Sports, don't care. This Mio game, Memories in Orbit, now this reminded me of uh whatchamacallit? Um Ori and the blind, Ori in the Blind Forest or or the or the sequel. That's kind of what it looked like to me. I like the platforming, I like the like the watercolor art style. This looked nice to me. This is this is definitely something I'm into from the gameplay. This is something I I'm pretty sure I would buy. I'm pretty convinced of that already. Uh, Disney Illusion Island, don't care. Hello Kitty Island Adventure, don't care. Looney Tunes, don't care. Among Us, whatever. Uh, farm, why, why is there always... Let me, let me hit play on this, right? In, is this another like actual farm game or is it just called... Call, oh, it's an actual farm. Bro, these farm games must do crazy fucking numbers. They must. Every Nintendo Direct... There's at least, I think the last direct, one of the, it was either like, I think in the last three directs, bro, there was, there, one of these directs had like four, four games just based on the concept of farming. So casuals must be going crazy for this bullshit. Cause why are there so many farming games, bro? Yeah. Um, 
Donkey Kong Country Returns HD. So this is a, I guess, remaster. Um, I'm a big Donkey Kong fan. I feel like I feel like Nintendo continues to disrespect Donkey Kong, um, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, cause I, I feel the treatment that Mario gets with how often and how regular it gets releases. I feel like Donkey Kong should get those just as often, but it's like, bro, it, it feels like we get one Donkey Kong game a decade and that sucks. Cause to me, Donkey Kong is just their best platformer. I, I just think it's, it's a, if I had to make a, a top five platformers list of all time, I'm pretty sure I got, I got Donkey Kong as probably number one. Any given Donkey Kong game is like number one. It's definitely be number two at the, at the, at the lowest. So I don't like the disrespect that Donkey Kong gets. I don't appreciate it. Um, don't just give me an HD remaster. Give me an actual new game. I don't like that. Dragon Quest uh, 3 HD 2D remake. I look forward to the next Dragon Quest, but I am not trying to play the old Dragon Quest games. Don't care. Funko Fusion, don't care. Luigi Mansion 2 HD, don't care. The new, new Den Denpa, don't care. Uh, Megal, uh, Megal, Metal Slug. I like, what is that, the Tactics? I like that one, which I think just came out on Steam, but attack uh, reloaded no don't care darkest dungeon don't care some switch online update don't care uh phantom brave uh what is no i i, I don't care marvel vs. capcom fighting collection arcade classics i'm a huge marvel fan this comes with i think they said seven or eight classic marvel games um there was one of these I, I never even heard of, bro. I, I never knew, was it Punisher? I never knew Punisher had a game, had a classic game. What Was that on Super Nintendo? I never knew Punisher had a game, bro. Every other game, I've, I've actually played every single one of these, except that Punisher game. I'm, I'm like, Punisher had a game, bro? When did this happen? And so it was like a street beat-em-up. I never knew about that. I wonder if it was actually good or is it kind of like a Streets of Rage bad knockoff type thing. I don't know. Um, but down to play a beat em up. Beat em up is one of those games that like I don't mind playing a classic one because a, a old beat em up. It's, it's, it's one of those games that like time does not really hurt beat em up games. It doesn't hurt the mechanics of it because a new beat em up plays the same as an old beat em up you know what i'm saying so it's one of those things where i'm like that that the mechanics of that game everything else almost in every other genre except maybe like you know the uh turn-based rpgs every other genre is like heavily uh, affected and they age terribly as far as game mechanics go but beat em ups they're kind of ageless and timeless so um that's why I would still play this now. Uh, yeah, I really never. I, they didn't confirm that this was. Um, I assume it's gonna have online. I didn't see. Oh, yeah, that that looks looks like online right there. Uh, because I don't know why. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was about to say because I didn't watch the whole trailer. I just saw the beginning. Because I'm like, why would you release any of these games without online? I don't know if every single one of these games is gonna have online, but I know. The main ones, definitely, they're going to give those games online. Um, yeah, I'm just ne I just never knew about that Punisher game. Uh, so apparently this is not coming to Xbox platforms, right? It's coming to PS4, which is playable. You know, you could play it. That means you could play it on PS5. It's coming to Switch. It's coming to Steam. Now, this begs the question, why? It's because it's, it's, it's a curious question. Why is this not coming to Xbox? In the grand scheme of things, it's not a big deal that it's not coming to Xbox. Because in the grand scheme of things, what we're talking about is a whole bunch of old games. So it's not like some, but these are very popular old games. Like every time Marvel, especially Marvel vs. Capcom 2 gets re-essentially ported to the new platforms, it's always a big deal. 
because the all the old players, especially the the FGC, they still love MVC too, and they hate that it's sometimes a hassle as generations go 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 on that it's hard to continually play uh, MVC two or any of these games. So it's always um, an exciting time for casuals, hardcore who just love these Marvel games. So I'm saying it's important in that way, but it's not like it's this brand new, you know, uh, it's not like this is brand new Marvel game, brand new Marvel fighting game that's not coming to the Xbox. So it's not big, a big deal in that sense, but it still begs the question, why is this game not going to Xbox? What reason would there be for it to not go to Xbox? Is on PlayStation, Switch, Steam? You feel like if 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 a calculator was an option, they would even put it on a calculator and and, and not Xbox. So it, it's it's not the game that's the big deal, but it's the it's the bigger meaning and the sentiment why. Because it it, it lends to the conversation about okay, because this is not the only game that's doing that. So it's like okay, why or why uh, why is this one of the games? that are not going to Xbox among these other games that are either arriving late on Xbox or not going at all that have been confirmed to not have some exclusivity deal with PlayStation because there's a whole bunch of conspiracy theories out there that people who are dealing and in, in inhaling maximum amounts of cope want to believe that there's some uh, that PlayStation is 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 uh, having uh, deals underneath the table, for example, with Black Myth Wukong, that's that's coming to Xbox uh, late. So they some people who can't just deal with the fact that it's probably a Series S problem. They want to believe that it's PlayStation's fault and they have some type of, you know, deal under the table with that developer when it's probably just a Series S fault. So. I'm going to say I don't know for sure, but I'm going to go ahead and say. You can't say and believe that software sales don't matter, hardware sales don't matter, and also ask the question, why is this not why is this game not coming to Xbox? You can't you can't ask both of those you can't say both of those things. You can't say that statement and then ask that question. Because once again, a lot of y'all have been manipulated and indoctrinated by xbox they told y'all hardware sales don't matter software sales don't matter they told y'all it's all about engagement numbers and guess who don't believe that shit capcom and all these motherfucking other publishers all these other developers and publishers don't believe that shit they don't subscribe to that shit that xbox told y'all they like we don't buy that. We don't go by that belief. Y'all can keep that belief over there. That only that only applies to Xbox. We want to see some sales over here if you want our games on your platform cuz otherwise, what's the point if there's nobody over there to buy them? That's what I'm gonna get, guess the issue is. But um moving on from that, I'm going I'm a uh, yeah, I'm picking up that uh collection. But it does spell a it does spell some future issues for Xbox of some games skipping their platform because they're not seeing it as a worthwhile platform to go to. So it's like I said, it's not a big deal for Marvel, but for the for the future and the sake of the platform. Yeah, that's something you should worry about. Um, Super Mario Party Jamboree. So this is up to 20 players. This is the like the first time as far as I know, they've. They've done this um, in a Super Mario Party game because I've played like almost all of them and it's usually just one to four players. So up to 20 players can compete online. I've never played them online, so I don't know what it's been like online. I've always played it locally, but that's a big deal. You know, we could have some some game nights and some party nights with with that shit. if We playing it online. Um, so biggest Mario Party yet, they say coming October 17th. Uh, Legend of Zelda um, echoes of wisdom. So I should actually say that I did like Wind Waker. It's not that I don't care about any Zelda games cuz I I did beat Ocarina of Time, right? I mean, I think everybody has. But I think after the Nintendo 64, 
that's when I stopped really caring about Zelda as as a as an IP. I'd be liking these these type of um Zelda games. I like these. So this is something I would think about playing. I would consider actually getting these. Um it, it something about Zelda just overall doesn't really excite me though. So I'm not even sure about that. Uh, Just Dance, Lego Horizon Adventures, that looks good. We've known about that for a while. Stray uh, is going to switch. Tales of the Shire, a Lord of the Rings game. Yeah, no, we don't care. Ace Attorney, don't care. The Hundred Line, don't care. Yeah, Romancing Saga, don't care. Metroid Prime for Beyond. So this game has been in development for like eight years. You know, it's had some development hell. They restarted uh, development of it finally coming out next year. Um, so people are very excited. I've never really been into Metroid like that. I am willing to give this game a chance. Even looking at the game doesn't really excite me. I personally don't get the hype. I'm not saying it's a bad game. Just looking at the game. I, I think this is, could be one of those games that Looking at it doesn't really do it do it justice and playing it. You may get a different experience. People have told me to play uh, that Metroid um, Prime remastered. It's at 60 frames. So I may do that. I may give that a shot. It'll tell me if I uh, if I would be into Metroid Prime for beyond. So now it has a subtitle. So. Cool. Happy for Nintendo fans. Um that they finally get their game that they've been waiting for eight years. Shout out to y'all. Hope it's great. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't give Nintendo Directs a rating because most of this shit is not for me. You know what I'm saying? I, I already, I go into Nintendo, Nintendo Directs knowing that majority of the games are not going to be for me. Even though, like I said, there'd be like three, four, uh, Switch games I buy a year, there's still a whole bunch of things in between that I couldn't give a rat's ass about, right? So that's why I typically don't don't give it a score because they would always be, I mean, a lot of my scores for any showcase be really low, but it would be really low, right? Because I, to me, the, the two things I care about in this show is Mario and Luigi Brothership, the, um, the Marvel... Uh, collection and uh the the Mio game so that's that's three uh and Donkey Kong Country Returns so that's four and I think like two of those might be uh we know we, we know the Marvel collection is multi-plat the Mio game I don't know if that's exclusive exclusive to switch so that's like three three four games out of I don't know how many of these that I even care about you know I was going through them y'all like oh, I don't care don't care don't care don't care so that's why I'm like uh for me, it's not really fair for me to give it a score. Mario, I, I'll buy Mario Party also, maybe. But it's not one of those games I'm excited for, if, if y'all get my point. Oh, and of course, Lego Horizon Adventures, which is also multi-plat. Um, which is also on, you know, uh, PlayStation. It's multi-plat and going to Steam as well. So, it's cool. It's a, it's a good show. Um, like I said, it doesn't excite me like it would excite in a, a core Nintendo fan. But, cool. It's cool. Um, let me know what y'all think. Hit that like button. Follow me on Twitter. All that good shit. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.